photosynthesis in a higher plants. All animals, including human beings, depend on plants for their food. Heavy other wonder from where plants get their food. Green plants, in fact, have to make or synthesize the food they need, and all other organisms depend on them for their needs. The green plants make or rather synthesize the food they need through photosynthesis and are therefore called autotrophs. You have already learned that the autotrophs nutrition is found only in plants, and all other organisms that depend on the green plants for food are heterotrophs. Simple. Green plants carry out photosynthesis a physiochemical process by, by which they use the light energy to drive the synthesis of organic compounds by which they use the light energy to drive the synthesis of the organic compounds ultimately all living forms on earth depend on sunlight for energy ultimately all life forms on earth depend on uh, depend on the plants depend uh, all life forms depend on the sun for the light and depend on the sun for the light energy for the light energy to drive the synthesis of the organic compounds. Ultimately, all living forms on Earth depend on the sunlight for energy. The use of energy from sunlight. The use of energy from sunlight by plants doing photosynthesis is the basis of life on Earth. Photosynthesis is important due to the two reasons. It is the primary source of all food on Earth. It is the uh, photosynthesis is important due to two reasons. It is the primary source of all food on Earth. It is also responsible for the release of the oxygen into the atmosphere. It is also responsible for the release of oxygen from the atmosphere. It is also responsible for the release of oxygen into the atmosphere by the green plants primary it is a primary source of all food on earth secondary it is the source of it is the source of the release of oxygen or we can say that it is there it is responsible for the release of oxygen into the atmosphere release of oxygen into the atmosphere by the green plants release of all oxygen atmosphere in the green plants ultimately all animals including human beings depend on plants for their food for their food plants synthesize their food they are called autotrophs and uh, the other organisms that depend on plants for their food are called as heterotrophs are called as heterotrophs the Photosynthesis. Uh, plants uh, synthesize their food. Plants synthesize their through, through photosynthesis, which is the physiochemical process by which they use the light energy to drive the synthesis of the organic compounds. Ultimately, all living forms on Earth depend on the sunlight. All living forms on Earth depend on sunlight for energy. Uh, photosynthesis is important due to two reasons. It is the primary source of all food on Earth. It is, pri it is the primary source of all food on Earth. It is the primary source of all food on Earth. It is, it is, it is important due to two reasons. It is the primary source of all food on Earth. Second, it uh, is responsible for the release of uh, oxygen into the atmosphere. It is responsible for the release of oxygen into the atmosphere. What do we know? Let's start. You may have carried out experiment to, to uh, look for the star formation in the two leaves. In the two leaves, a very a variegated leaf or a leaf that was partially covered with the black paper and exposed to light black paper on testing these leaves for the presence of starch it was clear that photosynthesis occurred only in the green parts of the leaves in the presence of in the presence of light in the photosynthesis occurred only in the green parts of the leaves and also the presence of light in also the presence of light and also the presence of light and also the presence of light Another experiment you may have carried out where a part of leaf is enclosed in a test tube containing some pot, uh, potassium hydroxide soaked cotton, potassium hydroxide soaked cotton which absorbs carbon dioxide, while the other half is exposed to air. One half of the leaf was uh, one half of the leaf was enclosed in a test tube containing containing the potassium hydroxide soaked cotton, and the other was exposed to air. If this experiment was this experiment proves that carbon dioxide is required for photosynthesis. This setup is then placed in light for some time. On testing for the presence of starch later in the two parts of the leaf, you must have found that the exposed part of the leaf tested positive for the starch while the portion that was in the tube tested negative. This showed that carbon dioxide was required for the photosynthesis. This showed that carbon dioxide was required for the photosynthesis. Carbon dioxide for, uh, was required for the photosynthesis. Carbon dioxide was required for photosynthesis. Uh, potassium hydroxide. Potassium hydroxide absorbs carbon dioxide, absorbs carbon dioxide and the exposed of the leaf. This experiment proves that carbon dioxide is essential for photosynthesis. Early experiments, early experiments regarding the photo, since early experiments regarding the photosynthesis. It is interesting to learn about these simple experiments that led to the gradual development in uh, our understanding of the photosynthesis. Joseph Riesley in 1970, in 1770, in 1770, performed a series of experiments that revealed the essential role of air. <coughs> In the growth of the green plants, Priestley, you may recall, discovered oxygen in 1774. Joseph Priestley discovered oxygen in 1774. Bell jar experiment was carried out by the Joseph Priestley. Joseph Priestley. Joseph Priestley. Uh, he he placed it, he placed it, uh, oxygen. Uh, Priestley observed that a candle burning in a closed space, a bell jar soon gets extinguished. A candle burning in a closed space, in a, or a bell jar soon gets extinguished. Similarly, a mouse would soon suffocate in a closed jar. He concluded that a burning candle or an animal that breathe the air both somehow damage the air. Burning candle, 
and the mouse that breathe the air both somehow damage the air both somehow damage the air but that the burning candle or an animal that breathe the air both somehow damage the air but when they placed a mint plant in the same jar he found that the mouse stayed alive and the candle continued to burn but then he placed a mint plant in the same jar he uh, found that the, he found that the mouse stayed alive and the candle continued to burn mouse stayed alive and the candle continued to burn priestly hypothesized as follows the hypothesis of priestly pre priestly hypothesized as follows hypothesized as follows plants restore to the ear plants restore to the air whatever breathing animals and the burning candles remove plants restore to the air whatever breathing candles and the burning breathing uh, breathing animals and the burning candles remove plants restore to the air that is oxygen can you imagine how priestly would have conducted therefore the role of oxygen photosynthesis was proved by the belzer experiment by priestly he discovered oxygen in 1774 he uh, he carried out two sets of experiments first he placed a uh, he placed a um, candle under a closed space he found that he got extincted and mouse got suffocated mouse got suffocated in a closed space but when he placed it but when he placed it but when he placed a mint plant in the same jar, he found that the he found that the that the candles continue to burn and the mouse continue to breathe. He uh, hypothesized as follows: the plant is restored to the air. Plant is restored to the air. Whatever breathing animals and the burning candles remove. Plant is restored to the air. Whatever breathing animals and the burning candles remove. But breathing animals and the burning candles remove. Under the similar setup, go Joseph Priestley's experiment. We read. It's my explain the role of oxygen through the Belzer experiment. And under a similar experiment as one by Priestley, but uh, by placing it once in dark and once in sunlight. Jan Ingen House. Showed that sunlight is essential to the plant process that somehow purifies the air followed by the sunlight is essential for the plant process that process which helps the plant to purify the air that that process which helps the plant to purify the air at a similar setup similar setup similar under uh, using a similar setup as the one using previously but one one place it in the sunlight and the other absence of the sunlight John Ingen House Ingen House showed that such sunlight is essential for the process sunlight is essential for the process that somehow purifies the air followed by the burning candles or breathing animals Ingen House in an elegant experiment aquatic plant ke sath isne experiment kiya showed that in bright sunlight small bubbles were formed in bright sunlight small bubbles were formed in bright sunlight small bubbles were formed around the green parts while in the dark they did not small bubbles were formed around the green parts around the green parts and while in the dark they did not later he identified these bubbles to be of oxygen hence he showed that it is the only green part of the plant that could release oxygen it is uh, it is the it is the only green part of the plant that could release oxygen role of sunlight role of sunlight रोल ऑफ सनलाइट दिया था हमने जैन इंगन हाउस ने उसने सिमिलर सेटअप यूज़ किया एज बाय द प्रीसली बट वन प्लेस इन सनलाइट एंड देन एन एब्सेंस ऑफ द सनलाइट ही प्रूव दैट ही प्रूव दैट सनलाइट इज एसेंशियल टू द प्लांट प्रोसेस दैट सम हाउ प्योरिफाइज द एयर फॉल्ड बाय द बर्निंग कैंडल्स एंड द बर्निंग कैंडल फॉर द ब्रीदिंग एंड जैन इंगन इज एन एलिगेंट एक्सपेरिमेंट विद द एक्वेटिक प्लांट एंड ब्राइट सन इन द ब्राइट सनलाइट स्मॉल बबल्स वर फॉर्मड ऑनली इन द ब्राइट सनलाइट ब्राइट सनलाइट स्मॉल बबल्स वर फॉर्मड ऑन इन द ग्रीन पार्ट ऑफ प्लांट दैट इज ग्रीन पार्ट ऑफ द प्लांट green part of the plant produces releases oxygen green only green part of the plant releases oxygen only in presence of sunlight in presence of sunlight it is the only green part of the plant that really could release oxygen this statement was proved by jan ingen who was through an elegant experiment in an aquatic plant so let's set up as it of priestly as it of priestly it was not until 1854 1854 पर था मैं मिनरल न्यूट्रिशन में कल 1854 जोलियस वॉन सेगस प्रो प्रोवाइडेड एविडेंस दैट फॉर द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ ग्लूकोस प्रोडक्शन ऑफ ग्लूकोस पहला आया जो सब प्रोसेस ही प्रोवाइडेड ऑक्सीजन दूसरा आया जॉन इंगन हाउस ही प्रोवाइडेड ग्रीन पार्ट्स ऑफ द प्लांट ग्रीन पार्ट्स ऑफ द प्लांट रिलीज ऑक्सीजन एंड आल्सो सनलाइट इज एसेंशियल सनलाइट इज एसेंशियल फॉर ग्रीन पार्ट्स ऑफ द प्लांट रिलीज ऑक्सीजन एंड आल्सो सनलाइट इज एसेंशियल फॉर द प्रोसेस सनलाइट इज एसेंशियल फॉर द प्रोसेस थर्ड वन इज जूलियन जूलियस वन साइगस प्रोवाइडेड एविडेंस फॉर प्रोडक्शन ऑफ ग्लूकोज प्रोवाइडेड एविडेंस फॉर द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ ग्लूकोज व्हेन plants grow glucose is usually stored as starch he st some statements given by julian von sex glucose is usually stored as starch his later study showed that the green substance in plants chlorophyll as we know is located in special bodies called the chloroplasts within the plant cell green substance that is chlorophyll is located in specific chloroplasts inside chloroplasts specific chloroplasts in the plant cells he found that green parts in the plants is where glucose is made and that glucose is usually stored as starch green part of the plant cell first he uh, three statements there julian von sex in 1850 1854 उसने बोला एविडेंस दिया था प्रोडक्शन ऑफ ग्लूकोज के लिए जो जूलियस वन सेक्स ने जूलियस वन सेक्स ने ग्लूकोज इज यूजुअली स्टोर्ड एज स्टार्च ग्रीन पार्ट ऑफ द प्लांट इज प्रेजेंट इन स्पेसिफिक क्लोरोप्लास्ट इनसाइड द प्लांट सेल विद इन द प्लांट सेल विद इन द प्लांट सेल ग्रीन 
glucose is synthesized only by the green plant glucose is synthesized by the green plant green part green part of the plant green part of the plant is present in the uh, chloroplast in the chloroplast glucose is usually stored in starch the statements the hai julius von sachs mein glucose ke bare mein glucose and green part glucose is synthesized by green part of the plant green part of the plant chloroplast mein hota hai glucose usually stored in starch fir aaya t w engelman using a prism he uh, separate light into special spectral components and then illuminated a green alga cladophora for a place in a suspension of the aerobic bacteria the bacteria was used to detect the uh, to de detect the sites of the oxygen evolution he observed that the bacteria accumulated mainly in the region of the blue and red light he uh, found that or we can say that he Uh, he found that the bacteria mainly accumulated in the region of blue and red light blue and red light B bacteria mainly accumulated in the region of blue and red light of the split spectrum at first thus a first action spectrum of photosynthesis was described the first assessment of the aerobic the to the sites of the oxygen evolution he found that the bacteria mainly got accumulated in in the radio uh, in the regions of the blue and the red light of the split spectrum a first action spectrum of photosynthesis was just described a first action spectrum of photosynthesis was just described it resembles roughly the absorption spectrum of chlorophyll a and b therefore action spectrum of photosynthesis was described by tw engelman using a green alga cladophora for a place it in a suspension of aerobic bacteria place it in a suspension of the aerobic bacteria the aerobic bacteria was used to detect the sites of the oxygen evolution he found that the bacteria mainly got accumulated in the regions of the blue and the red light of the split spectrum a first action spectrum of the photosynthesis was described by tw engelman thus it roughly resembles with the uh, it, it roughly resembles with the action spectrum is uh, absorption spectrum of chlorophyll a and b by the middle of the 19th century the key features of the plant photosynthesis were known namely that plants could use the light energy to make the carbohydrates and the carbohydrate uh, carbohydrates car carbon dioxide water light or the raw materials for the synthesis of the carbohydrate and release of oxygen A milestone contribution to the understanding of photosynthesis is that brought by microbiologist Carlos von Linnaeus. Cornelius von Linnaeus. Cornelius von Linnaeus. He based on studies on the purple and the green bacteria demonstrated that photosynthesis is essentially a light-dependent reaction in which hydrogen from a suitable oxidizable compound, hydrogen from a suitable oxidizable compound, reduces carbon dioxide to carbon hydroxide. Reduces hydrogen from a suitable oxidizable compound. Reduces reduces carbon dioxide. Reduces carbon dioxide to carbon hydride. Carlos von Linnaeus. Purple and green photosynthesis. Green bacteria. We have studied that. We have told you that demonstrated that photosynthesis is essentially a light dependent process. And the and the hydrogen from a suitable oxidizable compound. Hydrogen from a suitable oxidizable compound reduces carbon dioxide to carbon hydrides. Reduces carbon dioxide to carbon hydrides. In green plants, water is the hydrogen donor and is oxidized to oxygen. Some organisms do not release oxygen during photosynthesis because in them the Uh, the donor uh, hydrogen donor is not water it is uh, instead h2s hydrogen sulfide so the sulfur dioxide is liberated in them as in in a state of oxygen when h2s in a state of the hydrogen donor for purple and green sulfur bacteria the oxidation product is sulfur or sulfate depending on the organism and not oxygen hence he inferred that oxygen evolved by the green plants comes from water and not from the carbon dioxide very important carlos von linnaeus proved that oxygen released during photosynthesis oxygen released during evolved during photosynthesis comes from oxygen evolved during photosynthesis comes from water not from carbon dioxide not from carbon dioxide if we use h2s hydrogen dioxide hydrogen sulfide in place of water we get sulfate as in a state of oxygen uh, therefore carlos von linnaeus proved that oxygen oxygen during photosynthesis is evolved from the water and not from the carbon dioxide and not from the carbon dioxide it could be proved through radio isotopic radio isotopic techniques as well can prove एक्सपेरिमेंट्स करेंगे पहले 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 आया हमारे हमारे जो पास जो उसने बोला रोल ऑफ ऑक्सीजन रोल ऑफ ऑक्सीजन ऑक्सीजन प्लांट्स उसने एक स्टेटमेंट दी हाइपोथेसिस दी प्लांट्स रेस्टोर द एयर वट एवर ब्रीदिंग एनिमल्स एंड बर्निंग कैंडल्स रिमूव उसने दिया डिस्कवर किया ऑक्सीजन इन सेवेंटी सेवेंटी फोर फिर बोला हमें रोल ऑफ सनलाइट इंगन हाउस ने सिमिलर सेटअप यूज़ किया एक्वेटिक प्लांट के साथ जो इंगन हाउस उसने बोला सनलाइट इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ सनलाइट ऑन द ग्रीन पार्ट ऑफ द प्लांट जहाँ पे ऑक्सीजन रिलीज होता है ऑक्सीजन इवाल होता है उसके बाद आया जूलियस वन सेक्स उसने बोला ग्लूकोज के बारे में ग्लूकोज इज सिंथिसाइज बाई ऑन द ग्रीन पार्ट ऑफ द प्लांट ग्रीन पार्ट ऑफ द प्लांट होता है क्लोरोप्लास्ट में एंड ऑल्सो ग्लूकोज स्टोर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ स्टार उसके बाद आया ट
जो एंगल में उसने हमें एक्सप्लेन कराया एक्शन स्पेक्ट्रम ऑफ फोटो उसने यूज किया एक उसने स्प्लिट करवाई लाइट स्पेक्ट्रम इंटू सरल कम्पोनेंट फिर इलिमिनेट किया एक क्लेडोफोरा क्लेडोफोरा ग्रीन अलग उसने यूज किया क्लेडोफोरा इन सस्पेंशन ऑफ एलोबेटी में रखा बैक्टीरिया इसलिए यूज किया टू डिटेक्ट द टू डेट साइड्स ऑफ द ऑक्सीजन इवल्यूशन उसने देखा कि अब बैक्टीरिया मेली गॉट इकमुलेटेड इन द रीजन ऑफ द ब्लू एंड रेड लाइट ब्लू एंड रेड लाइट दैट इज फोटो मैक्सिमम इन द ब्लू एंड रेड रीजन Below the action spectrum. This was the action spectrum of photosynthesis described by T. W. Engelmann. It resembles with absorption spectrum. Absorption spectrum of chlorophyll A and B. Uske liye baad jo hai, kya hai? Uske baad 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 hai, kya membrane 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 membrane
ब्लू ग्रीन ऐसे रहेगा यार कुदरत ले कुदरत बीजन थे क्या टाइप कुदरत ले ब्राइट और ब्लू ब्राइट और ब्लू ग्रीन ब्राइट और ब्लू ग्रीन सेकंड है कुदरत बी कुदरत बी में आता है येलो ग्रीन जंतु फिल्म में खाली येलो कैरेटनाइट में येलो टू येलो ऑरेंज येलो टू येलो ऑरेंज पिगमेंट्स आर सबस्टेंसेस दैट आर नथिंग दैट सबस्टेंसेस दैट हैव एन एबिलिटी टू अब्जॉर्ब लाइट दैट हैव एन एबिलिटी पिगमेंट्स आर द सबस्टेंसेस दैट हैव एन एबिलिटी टू अब्जॉर्ब द लाइट एट स्पेसिफिक वेवलेंथ्स एट स्पेसिफिक वेवलेंथ्स पढ़ाई में कुछ शोध नहीं सुना अब्जॉर्प्शन ऑफ द can you see that the wavelength at which there is a maximum absorption of chlorophyll a that is the blue and the red region maximum absorption kis region mein hoti chlorophyll a ka that is blue in the red and the red region blue and the red region also shows higher rate of photosynthesis therefore in the blue and red region plant shows higher photosynthesis rate in the blue and the red region because chlorophyll a absorbs maximum wavelength in the region of the blue and red region hence we can conclude that the chlorophyll a is the chief pigment is associated with the who is the chief pigment pigments both are in chlorophyll a chlorophyll b xanthophyll carotenoids but the chief pigment uh, in the photosynthesis is chlorophyll a chlorophyll a chlorophyll a. the maximum photosynthesis occurs in the blue and the red region blue blue and red region blue and red region blue and red region uh, the x action spectrum and absorption spectrum action spectrum or absorption spectrum that the absorption spectrum of a b and carotenoid a b and c a b c a b c absorption of light absorption of light kahan se hota absorption or wavelength absorption and wavelength absorption and wavelength chlorophyll a chlorophyll b xanthophyll and carotenoid chlorophyll a b c chlorophyll a chlorophyll b and carotenoids फिर यहाँ से यहाँ से यहाँ से नीचे रहेगा इस क्लोरफिल बी जंतुफिल जो रहेगा वो जंतुफिल है क्लोरफिल ए पहले इधर जाएगा इधर इधर यहाँ से इसके ऊपर चढ़ेगा इसके ऊपर ही जाएगा दिस इज क्लोरफिल ए दिस इज क्लोरफिल बी फिर आएगा जंतुफिल जंतुफिल सॉरी कैरोटोनाइड क्लोरफिल ए क्लोरफिल बी एंड कैरोटोनाइड ए बी सी क्लोरफिल ए क्लोरफिल बी एंड कैरोटोनाइड enable a wide range of wavelength for of incoming light they not only enable the wide range of wavelength for of incoming light for photosynthesis to be utilized for photosynthesis but also prevent us from color a from auto oxidation from photo oxidation from photo oxidation these graphs clearly show that the maximum photosynthesis occurs in the blue and red regions of the spectrum some photosynthesis does take place in the other uh, wavelengths of the visible spectrum let us now uh, see how this happens the color a is the major pigment of for the photosynthesis other pigments also absorb light and provides uh, provides uh, and transfers it to the color a they not only provide the wide range of wavelength is used for photo light to be utilized for photosynthesis but also prevent us chlorophyll a from photo oxidation but also prevent us chlorophyll a from photo oxidation but also pro protect us chlorophyll a from photo oxidation but also protect us chlorophyll a from photo oxidation but also protect us chlorophyll a from photo oxidation but also protect us chlorophyll a from okay it's possible that is a photochemical reaction the pigments are organized into two discrete photochemical light harvesting complexes the pigments are organized into two discrete photochemical light harvesting complexes within the photosystem first and the photosystem second light harvesting complexes within the photosystem first and the photosystem the pigment the pigments are organized into two discrete photochemical Light harvesting complexes in the photosynthesis first and photosynthesis second. They are named in the sequence of their discovery, not in the sequence in which they function during the light reaction. The light harvesting complex are made up of hindrance of pigment molecules and are made up of the high hindrance of the pigment molecules bound to proteins. Hindrance of pigment molecules, but light harvesting complex is composed of hindrance of pigment molecules bound to proteins. Each photosystem has all the pigments except one molecule of chlorophyll a forming a light harvesting system, also called the antenna. Each photosystem has all the pigments except one molecule of chlorophyll a forming light harvesting system, forming a light harvesting system called the antenna. forming a light harvesting system called the antenna these pigments help to make the photosynthesis more efficient by absorbing different wavelengths that is this these these pigments these pigments they, the pigments except to chlorophyll a car called as a accessory pigment together form the antenna these make the photosynthesis more efficient by absorbing a wide range of the wave uh, lengths where the single chlorophyll a mo molecule forms a reaction center the reaction center is different in both the photosystem in photosystem for the reaction center uh, chlorophyll a has an absorption peak at 700 nanometer in photosystem p700 while in photosystem second it has an absorption peak at 680 nanometer hence p680 p680 
light reactions are the photochemical reactions include the light absorption water sublating oxygen release and the synthesis of the atp and the nadph a large number of complex uh, protein complex are involved in this process involved in this process are involved the pigment the pigments are organized into two discrete photochemical light harvesting systems called as photos within the photos first and photos and second these are named according to the these are named uh, these are named these are named in the uh, order of their discovery not in the order in which they function during the process in which they function during the process each light harvesting system each light harvesting complex has two regions antenna antenna and the reaction center antenna and the reaction center antenna and the reaction reaction photosystem has two regions antenna and the reaction center antenna comprises of all the accessory pigments except for the chlorophyll a chlorophyll a they make the other uh, photosynthesis more efficient by absorbing a wide range of wide ra range of wavelengths wide range of wavelengths uh, the chlorophyll a molecule uh, forms the reaction center uh, the reaction center has a uh, different absorption peaks in the two photosystems in the photosystem first it has an absorption peak at 700 nanometer hence called the p700 in photosystem second it has an absorption peak at 680 nanometer hence called the p680 hence called P six eighty light harvesting system. Light harvesting complex are made of hundreds of proteins, hundreds of pigments bound to proteins, hundreds of pigment molecules bound to proteins, hundreds of pigment molecules bound to proteins, bound to proteins. Each photostom has all the pigment photostom has the pigments called as antenna and the the electron transport system. Electron transport system in the photosystem second the reaction center cooler A cooler in the photosystem second the work at the photosystem second uski bad work at the photosystem first photosystem second has an absorption peak at 680 nanometer photosystem uh, for a second for 680 nanometer for photos 100 nanometer it is a red light causing electrons to become accepted and jump to an orbit farther from the atomic nucleus these electrons are picked up by an electron acceptor which passes the, them to an electron transport system with the side or cytochrome with the cytochrome cytochrome iron cytochromes mein lagta hai, copper they are reversibly oxidized from fe2 positive to fe3 positive and cu positive to cu2 positive and they are present in different cytochromes and help in the uh, electron transport system but um belly uh, light guilty of 680 nanometer photos some second was electron excited hota hai and accepted by the electron acceptor electron acceptor phir woh deta hai to the electron transport system down into the up to the electron acceptor down into the electron transport system uh, this movement of the electrons is downhill in terms of the oxidation reduction or the redox protectness here the electrons are not used up they pass through the electron transport are not used up to use hote hi nahi hai they pass through the electron transport system but are passed on to the pigments fir wo wahi electrons pass karte hain on the pigments of the photosynthesis and first photosynthesis and first page of light but the of 700 nanometer wahi electrons excite hote hain they are accepted by the electron acceptor Person also excited when they are of the another electron extra molecule that has a greater rocks potential. These electrons they are moved downhill to again this time to the fir yehi electrons downhill karte not to the electron transport system but to the NADP plus positive or wo hi hota hai convert fir NADPH mein or in space inside so NADPH mein electron transport system ke dooran jab electron wahan se transfer hota wahan pe synthesize hua ATP. This is a non cyclic photophosphorylation. Humne yahan pe energy ATP NADPH produce kiya. ADP and ADP using the light energy using the light energy and electron cyclic mein nahi waapas aya wo electron jab pehle electron excite hua from photosystem second to an electron acceptor phir wo electron transport system us dooran ATP bana phir electron transport system se photosystem first photosystem first pe 700 nanometer padi 700 wahan se electron excite hua to electron acceptor phir down to the NADP positive phir wo kam hua NADP yahan pe jo scheme bani yahan pe jo agar hum arrange karenge different acceptors different electron transport system ko on the basis of their increasing Increasing the rocks potential is a Z shape and that's called as Z scheme. That's called as non cyclic photophosphorylation. Me NADPH be banta hai, ADP be banta hai. Photolysis of water is linked to photosystem second, not photosystem first, photosystem second, photosystem first. That's what I mean. NADP positive splitting of water. How splitting of water? Splitting water splitting complex is present on the inner side of thylakoid membrane. Water splitting complex is present on the inner side of thylakoid membrane. On the inner side of thylakoid membrane, it is a thylakoid membrane. It is called as lumen. Here, per water splitting complex is present. Hota hai. Water splitting complex is present on the inner side of thylakoid membrane. Is present on the inner side of thylakoid. Water splitting complex is present on the inner side of thylakoid membrane. Water splitting complex is present on the inner side of thylakoid membrane. You would uh, think how does photosystem second supply electrons continuously the electrons that were moved from photosystem second must be replaced they come from the water they come from water splitting of water due to the splitting of water is associated with the photosystem second water is split into two ice h positive nascent oxygen and electrons this creates oxygen as one of the net products of photosynthesis the electrons needed to replace those removed from the air.
we need to emphasize here that the water separating complex is associated with the photosystem second photosystem second which is a cell present on the inner side of the thylakoid membrane physically located on the inner side of the th membrane of the thylakoid for water separating complex water separating complex separating of water is associated with the photosystem second uh, photosystem second with the help of the water separating complex which is present on the inner side of physically located on the inner side of thylakoid membrane inner side this is the non cyclic photophosphorylation may uh, do photosystem first we work around photosystem second we work at the or the ATP we produce for the NADPH we produce for the water separating भी होती है और वाटर सेपरेटिंग कॉम्प्लेक्स होता है एसोसिएटेड विद द फोटोसिस्टम सेकंड व्हिच इज प्रेजेंट ऑन द इनर साइड ऑफ थैलोकॉइड मेम्ब्रेन साइक्लिक एंड द नॉन साइक्लिक फोटोफॉस्फोरेट लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स हैव द कैपेबिलिटी ऑफ एक्सट्रैक्टिंग एनर्जी फ्रॉम द ऑक्सीडाइजेबल सब्सटेंस एंड स्टोर लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म की होती है कैपेबिलिटी वो एक ऑक्सीडाइजेबल ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड से एनर्जी निकालते हैं फिर वो उसको स्टोर करते हैं इन द फॉर्म ऑफ एटीपी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ एटीपी इस प्रोसेस को दिस प्रोसेस हैपेंस इन माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया एंड क्लोरोप्लास्ट एंड इज कॉल्ड एज द एंड इज कॉल्ड एज एंड इज कॉल्ड एज फॉस्फोराइलेशन फॉस्फोराइलेशन हियर इन फोटोसिंथेसिस इन फोटो एटीपी इज सिंथेसाइजर एटीपी इज using light using light it's called as photophosphorylation photophosphorylation adp by cell in mitochondria and the chloroplast is named as phosphorylation in phosphorylation photophosphorylation is the synthesis of the adp from the adp and the inorganic phosphate in presence of the light when the two photosystems when the two first photosystems work the first photosystem and first second the process called non cyclic photophosphorylation occur the two photosystems are connected to an electron transport chain as seen earlier in the z scheme both adp and nadp h plus h positive are synthesized by this kind of electron flow नॉन साइकिल फोटोफॉस्फोरेशन जब होती है इनर साइड थे when when only photosystem first jab khali photosystem first work karega is functional the electron is circulated within the photosystem and the pho photophosphorylation occurs due to cyclic flow of electrons and the photophosphorylation occurs due to the cyclic flow of electrons and the photophosphorylation occurs due to the cyclic flow of electrons due to the cyclic flow of electrons a possible location where this could be happening in the stroma lamella it's a stroma lamella that is no that cyclic photophosphorylation hoti hai in the stroma lamella stroma lamella stroma lamella cyclic photophosphorylation mein khali photosystem first work karega है इसमें खाली ए टी पी बनता है इसमें वाटर सेपरेटिंग कॉम्प्लेक्स नहीं होता है वाटर सेपरेटिंग होती ही नहीं है एंड एंड Uh, this happens in the stroma lamella. There is a cyclic photophosphorylation happening in the stroma lamella. While the membrane of the lamella of the grana have both the photosystem first and the photosystem second, the stroma lamella membrane is lack photosystem second as well as NADP reductase enzyme and enzyme. And the, the excited electron does not pass the NADP positive, but is cyclic back to the photosystem first complex through the electron transport chain. The cyclic flow hence the results only in the sense of the ADP, but not the NADP H plus H positive. NADP H reductase be absent. Have water separating complex be absent. Hai. <coughs> stroma lamella membrane membrane or the lamella of the grana where the membrane or the lamella of the grana 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 have both the photosystem first and the photosystem second while the stroma lamella stroma lamella where the mem stroma lamella membrane is stroma lamella membrane is stroma lamella membrane is stroma lamella membrane is lack photosystem second as well as as well as nadp reductase enzyme nadp reductase enzyme electrons 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 wraps hote aate hain cyclic flow hota hai through the electron transport system isme kali atp banta hai no no nadp reductase nadp synthesis nahi hoti hai kali atp banta hai isme kali photosystem first Cyclic photophosphorylation occurs only when only when right figure is beyond 680 nanometer uh, available for excitation. Because 680 nanometer is more than that, so 700 nanometer is light available for it. Then photosystem first, this electron excites. It is a non-cyclic photophosphorylation. Me ADP be banta hai, NADPH be banta hai. Photosystem first be karta hai. Vara photosystem second, pehle photosystem second, then photosystem first. NADPH reductase enzyme be hota hai. Water splitting complex hota hai associated with the plasma, with the with the photosystem second. All present on the inner side of thylakoid uh, membrane. That thylakoid membrane, grain of the membrane me hota hai. Both NADP reductase, NADPH reductase hota hai. जो साइकिल फोटोफॉस्फोरेशन होते हैं उसमें खाली फोटोसिस्टम फर्स्ट वर्क करता है खाली एटीपी बनता है खाली एटीपी टी पी बन एन नहीं होता है वाटर स्प्रिटिंग कॉम्प्लेक्स भी नहीं होता है क्योंकि दिस हैपन इन द मेमरी ऑफ स्ट्रोमल लेमला दिस हैपन इन द मेमरी ऑफ स्ट्रोमल लेमला फोटो स्ट्रोमल लेमला स्ट्रोमल लेमला की मेमरी होता है साइकिल फोटोफॉस्फोरेशन केम ऑस्मोटिक हाइपोथिस केम ऑस्मोटिक हाइपोथिस केम ऑस्मोटिक हाइपोथिस मतलब को ए कैसे प्रोड्यूस होता है ए कैसे बनता है लेट्स नॉट ट्राई एंड अंडरस्टैंड हाउ एक्चुअली ए टी इन द क्लोरोप्लास्ट द केम ऑस्मोटिक हाइपोथिस हैज been put forward to explain the mechanism like in respiration in photosynthesis two adp synthesis is linked to the development of a proton gradient across a membrane this time these are the membranes of the thylakoids there is one difference though the proton accumulation is towards the inside of the thylakoid inside of the membrane that is in the lumen of the thylakoid 
in respiration protons accumulate in the membranes in the intermembrane space of mitochondria in respiration maybe uh, chemical osmosis hoti hai lekin wahan pe bhi proton gradient ki wajah se chemical osmosis hoti hai wahan pe protons hote hain accumulate in the intermembrane space intermembrane space of the mitochondria lekin yahan pe protons hote hain accumulate in the lumen in the lumen on the uh, on the inner side of the thylakoid lumen mein hote hain protons accumulate thylakoid lumen mein proton accumulate electrons move through electron through system Let's now consider what causes the proton gradient across the membrane. What causes the proton gradient? Chemical osmotic hypothesis. Chemical osmotic hypothesis means this is how the ATP is synthesized. ATP is synthesized through the formation of the proton gradient, like in photo, like in respiration. Respiration में protons होते हैं accumulate on the intermembrane space of mitochondria. यहाँ पे protons होते हैं accumulate inside the lumen of the thylakoid. अब कैसे प्रोटॉन्स एक्यूमुलेट होंगे फर्स्ट स्प्लिटिंग ऑफ वाटर स्प्लिटिंग वाटर एसोसिएट विद फोटो सेकंड व्हिच इज फोटो सिस्टम वाटर स्प्लिटिंग कॉम्प्लेक्स इज लोकेट ऑन द इनर साइड ऑफ थैलोकाइड में मैंने दैट इनसाइड द लुमिन अगर वाटर स्प्लिट होगा वहां पे प्रोटॉन्स एक्यूमुलेट होंगे हो गए सेकंड फर्स्ट सेकंड होता है एनडीपी प्रोडक्ट इज होता है प्रेजेंट टुवर्ड्स द स्ट्रोमा साइड वहां पे वो एच पॉजिटिव कंज्यूम करेगा वहां पे एच कम हो तो लुमिन में एच ज्यादा हो एनडीपी प्रोडक्ट इज प्रेजेंट ऑन द स्ट्रोमा साइड ऑफ द स्ट्रोमा साइड थर्ड द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थर्ड एंड द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट एज इलेक्ट्रॉन्स मूव थ्रू द फोटो सिस्टम प्रोटॉन्स आर ट्रांसपोर्ट अक्रॉस द मेमरी इन दिस हैपन जब इलेक्ट्रॉन्स ट्रांसफर होते हैं ट्रांसपोर्ट होते हैं थ्रू द इलेक्ट्रॉन ट्रांसपोर्ट सिस्टम इलेक्ट्रॉन ट्रांसपोर्ट सिस्टम इलेक्ट्रॉन कैरियर्स प्रोटॉन्स होते हैं ट्रांसपोर्ट फ्रॉम द स्ट्रोमा इन टू द लिमिन प्रोटॉन्स होते हैं ट्रांसपोर्ट फ्रॉम द स्ट्रोमा इन टू द लिमिन फ्रॉम द स्ट्रोमा इन टू द लिमिन वहाँ पर प्रोटॉन्स हो गए ज्यादा पी एच हो गया एसिडिक दैट इज पी एच डिग्रीज पी एच हो गया कम दैट इज एसिडिक एनर्जी इज यूज टू पंप प्रोटोन टू क्रिएट ग्रेडियंट प्रोटोन 
کو پروٹانس کو اکمیٹ کرنے ان دا لمن آف دا ان دا لمن آف تھیلوکوائیڈ رکائرز انرجی رکائرز انرجی اٹس این ایکٹیو پروسس اٹس این ایکٹیو پروسس پمپنگ آف پروٹون پمپنگ آف پروٹونس اور وی کین سی دیٹ کریشن آف پروٹون گریڈینٹ جورنگ دا کیمی آسموسس اٹس این ایکٹیو پروسس ویری امپورٹنٹ پوائنٹ کریشن اور ڈیولپمنٹ آف پروٹون گریڈینٹ فارمیشن آف پروٹون گریڈینٹ جورنگ دا کیمی آسموسس جورنگ دا کیمی آسموسس اٹس این ایکٹیو پروسس اٹ رکائرز دا ایکسپینڈیچر آف انرجی اٹس این ایکٹیو پروسس اٹ رکائرز دا ایکسپینڈیچر کیمی آسموسس رکائرز اے ممبرین اے ممبرین ا پروٹون گریڈینٹ ا پروٹون چینل ا پروٹون چینل اے ٹی پی سنتھیز ا پروٹون گریڈینٹ پروٹون چینل اے ٹی پی سنتھیز اے ٹی پی سنتھیز انرجی از یوزڈ ٹو پمپ دا پروٹونز اکراس ا ممبرین ٹو کریٹ اے گریڈینٹ اور ہائی کنسنٹریشن پروٹونز از دا تھیلوکوائڈ لمٹ اے ٹی پی سنتھیز ہیز اے کیمی چینل دیٹ الاؤز دا ڈیفیوژن اف دا پروٹون اے ٹی پی سنتھیز کیٹ لائز دا فارمیشن اف دا اے ٹی پی الانگ وتھ اے ٹی پی ایچ پروڈیوس بائے دا موومنٹ اف دا الیکٹرونز دا اے ٹی پی ول بی یوزڈ امیڈیٹلی ان دا بایو سنتھیٹک ری ایکشن بایو سنتھیٹک ری ایکشن جس کو ہم کہتے ہیں کاربن ری ایکشن جو ہوتی ہے ان دا سٹروما سائٹ سٹروما سائٹ سٹروما سائٹ کو ہم نے پہلے لائٹ ری ایکشن پڑی لائٹ ری ایکشن پورا سائیکلی فوٹو فاسفور ری ایکشن نان سائیکلی فوٹو فاسفور ری ایکشن سائیکلی فوٹو فاسفور ری ایکشن نان سائیکلی فوٹو اس کے بعد ہم نے پہلے کیمی آسمانٹک ہائپوتیسز لیمنز لیمن میں پروٹانز کیسے اکیمیلیٹ ہوتے ہیں پھر وہ پروٹانز کیسے ہم باہر نکالتے ہیں الیکٹرون ٹرمسپورٹ سسٹم میں کیا ہوتا ہے فوٹو سسٹم سیکنڈ سے نکلتا ہے الیکٹرون تو دا فرسٹ پرائمری ایکسپٹر ایس پلاس ٹو کنیٹر آن دا آوٹر سیٹ پلاس ٹو کنیٹر سیٹو ٹو بی سیس اف کمپلیکس ایس دا پروٹون کیریئر سیٹو ٹو بی سیس اف کمپلیکس ایس پلاس ٹو سائن ویچ پرزن آن دا انسائی پلاس ٹو سائن انسی فوٹو سسٹم فرسٹ سے فوٹو سسٹم فرسٹ سے ایف ڈی پھر ایف این آر پھر این ڈی پیش कार्बन रिएक्शन बायोसिंथेटिक फेज और कार्बन रिएक्शन बायोसिंथेटिक फेज और कार्बन रिएक्शन Where are ADP and the NADPH user? We learned that the product of the light reaction ATP and NADPH and oxygen. Light reaction ke teen products hain ATP, NADPH and oxygen. Of these oxygen diffuses out of the chloroplast while ATP and NADPH are used to drive the processes lead to the synthesis of the food more uh, accurately. The sugars lead to the synthesis of the food more accurately. The sugars more accurately. The sugars synthesis of the food more accurately. The more accurately. The sugars more accurately. The sugars. This is the biosynthetic phase of photosynthesis. This process does not directly depend on the process presence of light, but is dependent on the products of the light reaction, that is the ATP and NADPH. Dark reaction does not depend upon the light. No, it depends upon the light, but not directly. But independent, indirectly, uh, it depends upon the products of light reaction, that is ATP and NADPH. You may wonder how this could <coughs> be verified. It is simple. You may wonder how could this could be verified. It is simple. Uh, immediately after light becomes unavailable and available the biosynthetic process of continues for some time and then stops light becomes unavailable biosynthetic phase still continues for some time very important immediately when light becomes un unavailable biosynthetic phase still continues for some time for some time and then stops biosynthetic phase still continues for some time and then stops continues for some time and then stops If then light is made available, the synthesis starts again. Can we say that the, <coughs> the cause in the biosynthesis is dark reaction is a misnomer? Yes, it is definitely a misnomer. Dark reaction. When the light becomes unavailable. Dark reaction. Dark reaction continues for some time and then stops. Very important. When the light becomes unavailable, dark reaction continues for some time and then becomes unavailable. The biosynthetic phase the process continues. For Can we say that it is a misnomer? Let us now see how ATP and NADPH are used in the biosynthetic phase. We saw earlier that carbon dioxide is combined with water to produce the uh, to produce glucose or sugars. It was of interest to science to find out how this reaction proceeded or rather <coughs> what was the first product formed when carbon dioxide is taken into a reaction or fixed just after World War II. Just after World War II, among the several efforts to uh, put in direction of fixed just after World War II, Radio isotopes to beneficial use the work Melvin Calvin is exemplary. The work of Melvin Calvin is exemplary. The work of Melvin Calvin is exemplary. The use of radio isotope carbon fourteen by him in algal photosynthesis. Use of carbon fourteen radio isotope in algal photosynthesis in algal photosynthesis studies led to the discovery that first carbon dioxide fixation product was a three carbon organic acid that is called as three phosphoglyceric acid. Three carbon organic acid. The first stable product of the the first stable product of the dark reaction or we can say that c3 cycle c3 cycle is like i think you see the first stable product hota hai it is a c3 carbon uh, acid it is a c3 carbon acid that is called the, as the 
phosphoglycerate acid or phosphoglycerate phosphoglycerate 3 p 3 phosphoglycerate acid or phosphoglycerate with 3 carbon compound pg फिर से अगर गो मेलविन कैलविन मेलविन कैलविन मेलविन कैलविन ने हमें बताया कि विच इज़ द फर्स्ट स्टेबल कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड फिक्सेशन प्रोडक्ट इन फोटोसिंथेसिस दैट इज द थ्री कार्बन एसिड दैट इज कॉल्ड एज द फॉस्फो ग्लाइसरेट या थ्री फॉस्फो ग्लाइसरेट थ्री फॉस्फो ग्लाइसरेट थ्री फॉस्फो ग्लाइसरेट थ्री फॉस्फो ग्लाइसरेट थ्री फॉस्फो glycerate three phosphor glycerate or entry pg is called as three cycle melvin can use the carbon 14 radio isotope carbon 14 radio isotope carbon 14 radio isotope in algal photosynthesis very important algal photosynthesis use cut key carbon 14 radio isotope use cut is defined kaki to first stable product of carbon dioxide fixation banta hai in photosynthesis that is the three carbon three carbon compound that's called as phosphor glycerate acid or three phosphor glycerate acid we can simply say phosphor glycerate it's called as a three cycle, C three cycle because scientists also try to know that plants have PGA as the first uh, fusion or whether any other product was formed in other plants. Experiment is conducted over a wide range of the plants later the discovery of another group of plants that are called as C four plants. Usme the first carbon dioxide fusion product banta hai. There is a C four compound that is oxalo acidic acid. C four compound oxalo acidic acid. Unko kehte hain C four cycle, C four cycle, C three cycle. Usko kehte hain C four pathi. These two groups of plants show other associated characteristics that we will discuss later. Therefore, there are two types of cycle: C three cycle, C four cycle. C three cycle me first jo product banta hai, first stable product banta hai that is. First is your C three cycle, which is first stable product of banta. That is C three cycle, which is first stable product of banta. Hai. That is three phosphoglyceric acid, three phosphor C four cycle, which is first stable product of banta. That is four carbon compound. That is called as oxalo acidic acid. The primary carbon dioxide acceptor. The primary carbon dioxide acceptor. The study is very unexpectedly showed that the acceptor molecule with a five carbon ketose sugar. Ribulose bisphosphate is a five carbon compound. It is not an acid. It is a ketose sugar. It is a ketose sugar. Five carbon keto sugar. First or five carbon keto sugar and it took a long time and can't many experiment to reach that conclusion. They also believed that the first product was C3 acid. The primary acceptor would be two carbon compound. They spent many years trying to identify that before they discovered the five carbon. Therefore, the primary acceptor, primary acceptor jo hota hai in the C3 cycle, that is RUBP, that is five carbon keto sugar, five carbon keto sugar, that is ribulose bisphosphate, RUBP, ribulose bisphosphate, five carbon keto sugar, five carbon keto sugar, C3 cycle, or BD3 cycle, or C3 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 cycle, First, uh, primary uh, the primary carbon dioxide acceptor the primary carbon dioxide acceptor in the C3 cycle is a five carbon <coughs> keto sugar five carbon keto sugar that is called as ribulose bisphosphate five carbon keto sugar that is a ribulose bisphosphate ribulose bisphosphate ribulose bisphosphate ribulose keto five carbon keto sugar very important keto sugar, keto sugar, keto sugar, keto sugar. the Calvin cycle. <coughs> Calvin and his co-workers then worked out the whole pathway that showed that the pathway operated in a cyclic manner. RUBP was regenerated. Pathway made to RUBP regenerated for the cyclic manner. Let's now see how the Calvin pathway operates and where the sugar is synthesized. Let us uh, at the outset understand that very clearly. Calvin pathway, Calvin path, that is series cycle occurs in all photosynthetic plants which will be photosynthetic plants whether it is C3 plant whether it is C4 plant her kisi photosynthetic plant may C3 cycle or Calvin pathway hota hi hota hai C3 cycle occurs in both the C3 as well as C4 plants see all photosynthetic plants all photosynthetic plants may paya jata hai C3 cycle or Calvin cycle it's been three steps in total carboxylation Second is reduction. Third is regeneration of RUBP. It occurs in a cyclic manner. Carboxylation, reduction, regeneration. Carboxylation is the fixation. Carbon, carbon dioxide ko laayenge. RUBP ke saath fix karenge. Carbon dioxide ko laayenge. RUBP ke saath fix karenge. Carboxylation is the most crucial step of Calvin cycle where carbon dioxide is utilized for the carboxylation of RUBP. This reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme RUBP carboxylase which results in the formation of two molecules of 3-phosphoglyceric acid. Since this enzyme has also an oxygen active, it is also called as rubisporibulose bisphosphate carboxylase oxygenase. Rubisporibulose bisphosphate carboxylase enzyme. The first step is carboxylation. This may have fixation carbon dioxide go with the RUBP to form the first stable product of Calvin cycle that is the Three phosphoglycerate two molecules of three phosphoglyceric acid, two molecules of three phosphoglyceric acid, two molecules of three phosphoglyceric 
glycerik acid 2 molecules of 3 phosphor glycerik acid 2 molecules of 3 phosphor glycerik acid since this enzyme also has an oxygen salt as rubis score rubis score rubis score three steps are total carboxylation carboxylation second one is reduction reduction may he synthesize hota hai sugar and third one is regeneration regeneration may rab bhi wapas regenerate hota hai to fir hum use karte hain in the other other calvin side These are the series of reactions that lead to formation of glucose. These steps involve the utilization of two molecules of ATP for phosphorylation and two molecules of NADPH for reduction per carbon dioxide for phosphorylation and for reduction. Two molecules of ADP. Reduction step to have is massive. A carbon dioxide kill. एक कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड मॉलिक्यूल के लिए हम दो एटीपी खर्च करते हैं फॉर फॉस्फर रिलेशन एंड दो एनएडीपीएच खर्च करते हैं फॉर रिडक्शन इसी दो को दो एटीपी और दो एनएडीपीएच खर्च होते हैं एक कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड की फिक्सेशन करने में ग्लूकोज को बनाने में छह कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड की फिक्सेशन को जरूरत है वो रिडक्शन स्टेप में टोटल बारह ए की जरूरत है बारह ए की जरूरत है रिडक्शन स्टेप में टोटल बारह ए की जरूरत है रिडक्शन स्टेप में मैंने बोला टोटल बारह ए और टू मॉलिकल्स ऑफ ए टी पी फॉर फॉसफोराइडेशन एंड टू मॉलिकल्स ऑफ एन ए डी पी फॉर रिडक्शन फॉर रिडक्शन सीरीज ऑफ रेशन द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द ग्लूकोज दी स्टेप्स इन्वॉल्व द यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ द टू मॉलिकल्स ऑफ एन ए टी पी फॉर फॉसफोराइडेशन एंड टू एन ए डी पी एच फॉर रिडक्शन पर कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड मॉलिकल फिक्स द फिक्सेशन ऑफ सिक्स मॉलिकल कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एंड सिक्स टर्न ऑफ फॉर द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ वन मॉलिकल ऑफ ग्लूकोज एक मॉलिकल ऑफ ग्लूकोज बनाने के लिए सिक्स टर्म्स ऑफ कार्बन सिक्स टर्म्स ऑफ कैलन साइकिल Regeneration, regeneration, regeneration of the carbon dioxide acceptor molecule (RABP) is crucial if the cycle is to continue and and uninterrupted. The regeneration of steps requires one ATP for phosphorylation to form RABP. RABP regeneration of RABP may be one ATP carried out. It is one carbon dioxide ki fixation. Me one cycle me one calvin cycle me one calvin. One glucose to make it. Eighteen ATPs are carried out. Us me se. एक ग्लूकोज को बनाने के लिए 18 एटीपी खर्च होते हैं उसमें से 12 एटीपी खर्च होते हैं इन द रिडक्शन स्टेप एंड 6 एटीपी खर्च होते हैं इन द रिजनरेशन स्टेप इसी तरह 12 एन खर्च होते हैं जो खर, सारे खर्च होते हैं इन द रिडक्शन स्टेप वन ग्लूकोज बनाने के लिए एक कैलवन वन ग्लूकोज बनाने के लिए छः कैलवन साइकिल की जरूरत है छः कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड फिक्सेशन की जरूरत है एटीन ए की जरूरत है बारह एन की जरूरत है एटीन ए में से बारह ए होते हैं यूटिलाइज इन द रिडक्शन स्टेप एंड छः ए होते हैं यूटिलाइज इन द रिजनरेशन स्टेप दो उसमें से दो 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 ए टी पी दो ए टी पी लगते हैं फॉर फॉस्फोराइजेशन एंड दो ए टी पी लगते हैं फॉर रिडक्शन दो ए टी लगते हैं फॉर फॉस्फोरेशन दो ए टी पी लगते हैं फॉर रिडक्शन वो अगर हम इनपुट देखेंगे छः कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड आएंगे एक ग्लूकोज निकलेगा बारह बारह एन ए डी पी पॉज में आएंगे बारह एन ए डी पी एच निकलेंगे Hence, for every carbon dioxide molecule entering the Kalman cycle, three molecules of ATP, two NADPH are required. In a Kalman cycle, there are three molecules of ATP carried out, and two molecules of NADPH carried out. From them, three molecules of ATP, from them, two molecules are carried in the reduction step, and one molecule of ATP is carried out in the regeneration or ATP step. <coughs> The C4 pathway is called as crystal acid metabolism pathway. Again, open shea had given this me example. The other three cycle open shea me example. The here C4 pathway is open shea. Plants that are adapted to dry tropical regions. Very important point. Dry tropical regions have the C4 pathway mentioned earlier. Though these plants have C4 oxalic acid as the first carbon surface to produce the C4. C3 pathway as the main biosynthetic pathway. Main biosynthetic pathway. C4 plants me main biosynthetic pathway. He C3 cycle he hota hai. C3 cycle he hota hai. Main biosynthetic pathway. Then in what is the difference? C4 plants are special. C4 plants are special. ट्रांसपोर्टेशन में सी फोर प्लांट्स के मुख्य एक सेंटर देखा गया है कि सी फोर प्लांट्स आर ट्वाइस एज एफिशिएंट एज सी थ्री प्लांट दैट 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 दे हाफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड से वो सेम ग्लूकोज बनाते हैं हाफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड से सेम ग्लूकोज अमाउंट बनाते हैं अगर हम सी थ्री प्लांट को देंगे टू मॉलिकल ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड और सी फोर एग्जाम्पल देंगे टू मॉलिकल कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड ये बनाएगा चार ग्लूकोज ये बनाएगा दो ग्लूकोज Are twice as efficient. Are twice as efficient. See for plants in general. Are special. They have a special type of the leaf anatomy. They to tolerate high temperature. Resist uh, response to high in light intensity. Tolerate high temperature. Resist response to high light intensity. They like a process called photorespiration and have a higher productivity of biomass. Higher productivity of biomass. See for plants are special. 
सी फोर प्लांट्स में स्पेशल दे है स्पेशल टाइप ऑफ लीफ एनेटमी दे है स्पेशल टाइप ऑफ लीफ एनेटमी दे टॉलरेट हाई टेम्परेचर रेस्पॉन्स टू हाई लाइट इंटेंसिटी टॉलरेट हाई टेम्परेचर रेस्पॉन्स टू हाई दे टॉलरेट हाई टेम्परेचर रेस्पॉन्स टू हाई लाइट इंटेंसिटी रेस्पॉन्स टू हाई लाइट इंटेंसिटी दे लाइक अ प्रोसेस कल्ड फोटो रेस्पायरेशन एंड हैव ग्रेटर प्रोडक्टिविटी ऑफ बाई दे लाइक अ प्रोसेस कल्ड फोटो रेस्पायरेशन एंड हैव ग्रेटर प्रोडक्टिविटी ऑफ द बाई एंड हैव ग्रेटर प्रोडक्टिविटी ऑफ बाई मास एंड हैव ग्रेटर प्रोडक्टिविटी ऑफ बाई मास एंड हैव ग्रेटर प्रोडक्टिव ऑफ द बाई मास वो सी फोर प्लांट्स ड्राई ट्रॉपिकल जिसमें पाए जाते हैं सी फोर प्लांट्स में भी सी थ्री साइकिल ही होता है एज द मेन बायोसेंथ्रिक पाथ पे सी फोर प्लांट्स होते हैं स्पेशल उनमें एक स्पेशल टाइप ऑफ लीफ एनेटमी होती है दे टॉलरेट हाई टेम्परेचर दे रेज दे रेस्पॉन्स हाई लाइट इंटेंसिटीज दे लैक अ प्रोसेस दे लैक अ प्रोसेस कल्ड फोटो रेस्पायरेशन फोटो रेस्पायरेशन दे लैक अ प्रोसेस कल्ड फोटो रेस्पायरेशन एंड है ग्रेटर प्रोडक्टिविटी ऑफ बाई मास ग्रेटर प्रोडक्टिविटी सी फोर प्लांट्स अब देखेंगे इनमें से जो एनेटमी होती है फोर और कहते हैं क्रंज एनेटमी क्या होती है क्रंज एनेटमी द पर्टिकुलर लार्ज सेल्स अराउंड वेस्कुलर बंडल्स की एरिया की जो लार्ज सेल्स होते हैं वेस्कुलर बंडल्स ऑफ सी फोर प्लांट्स आर कल्ड बंडल सीड सेल्स बंडल सीड सेल्स एंड द लीव्स व्हिच हैज सच एनेटॉमी आर आर सेट टू हैव द क्रेंज एनेटॉमी उनको उस उस टाइप ऑफ एनेटॉमी को कहते हैं क्रेंज एनेटॉमी वेस्कुलर बंडल्स की एरिया की लार्ज बंडल सीड सेल्स क्रेंज मींस रेथ एंड इज द रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ द अरेंजमेंट ऑफ सेल्स क्रेंज क्रेंज मींस रेथ एंड इज द रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ द अरेंजमेंट ऑफ सेल्स एंड इज द रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ द अरेंजमेंट ऑफ सेल्स द बंडल सीड सेल्स मे फॉर्म सेवरल लेयर्स अराउंड द वेस्कुलर बंडल्स The bundle seed cells may form several layers around the vascular bundles. Around the vascular bundles, they are characterized by having a large number of chloroplasts. बहुत सारे chloroplasts productive हैं ज़्यादा thick walls impervious to gas exchange. Common exit वहाँ नहीं आएगा thick thick walls impervious to gas exchange and no intercellular spaces. Thick walls impervious to gas exchange and no intercellular spaces. You may like to cut a section on the sea floor plants. Maize, sorghum, sugarcane. Maize, sorghum, sugarcane. Example दिए corn, sugarcane, maize, sorghum, corn, sugarcane, maize, sorghum. कॉर्न शुगर कीन मेज सॉर्गन कॉर्न शुगर कीन मेज सॉर्गन एग्जांपल्स ऑफ सी फोर प्लांट्स कॉर्न कीन द पर्टिकुलरली लार्ज सेल्स होते हैं अराउंड द बंडल सीड सेल्स कॉल्ड अराउंड द वेस्कुलर बंडल्स होते हैं बंडल सीड सेल्स दे फॉर्म सेवरल लेयर दे फॉर्म सेवरल लेयर दीस बंडल सीड सेल्स फॉर्म सेवरल लेयर अराउंड द वेस्कुलर बंडल सेवरल लेयर अराउंड द वेस्कुलर बंडल्स सेवरल लेयर इज द बनी दे आर थिक impervious to gaseous action thick impervious to gaseous action contain large number of chloroplast thick impervious to gaseous action contain large number of uh, large number of chloroplast no interstellar space koi space nahi hai thick no interstellar space mein rehta hai again there is lot large of interstellar layers around the sun hmm. corona shoot ki mein sun ko shoot ki mein Now state the pathway shown in the figure thirteen point nine. This pathway has the name H and Slack pathway. C four pathway is also called as H and Slack pathway. C three pathway is also called as Kelvin cycle. C four pathway is called as H and Slack pathway. H and Slack pathway. C four is again a cyclic process. The primary carbonation acceptor is a three carbon molecule phospho in alpyrid. C four cycle means the primary carbonation acceptor is a phospho in alpyrid. Where it is there is R U B P. Where it is phospho in alpyrid and is present in the mesophyll cells. Phospho in alpyrid is present in the mesophyll cells. The enzyme responsible for is phospho in alpyrid carboxylase or peptidase. It is important to register that the mesophyll cells lack rubisco enzyme. यहाँ पे mesophyll cells के पास rubisco enzyme नहीं होता है. The C4 acid oxalic acid is formed in the mesophyll cells. यहाँ पे जो first product बना है तो oxalic acid acid वो बना mesophyll cells में with the help of carbon dioxide. The primary carbon dioxide acceptor is a three carbon compound phospho in all pyruvate phospho which is present in the mesophyll cells. The enzyme uh, the enzyme responsible for this reaction is the phospho in all pyruvate carboxylase or peptidase. It is important to register that the rubisco mesophyll cells में rubisco नहीं होता है. The C C four acid also oxalic acid is formed inside the mesophyll cells. It then transforms into other or carbon acids like the uh, like like malic acid, aspartic acid in the mesophyll cells and its rubisco are transported to the bundle seed cells. In the bundle seed cells, C four acid broke होते हैं to release carbon acid and three कार्बन मॉलिक्यूल थ्री 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 कार्बन मॉलिक्यूल सी थ्री एसिड जो बनता है सी थ्री एसिड थ्री कार्बन मॉलिक्यूल सी थ्री एसिड सी फोर एसिड ब्रेक होते हैं कार्बन एक्सिड विद द थ्री कार्बन मॉलिक्यूल इज ट्रांसपोर्टेड इन द म्यूजिकल सेल्स वही होता है बैक एंड फॉस्टो एंड पैरवेट दैट इज द बैक दस कंप्लीटिंग द साइकिल द कार्बन एक्सिड रिलीज इन द बंडल सी सेल्स एंटर द सी थ्री और कैल्वन पाथवे ए पाथवे कॉमन रूल वो सी थ्री प्लांट सी थ्री प्लांट्स में सी थ्री साइकिल होता है म्यूजिकल सेल्स में सी थ्री प्लांट्स में सी थ्री साइकिल होता है म्यूजोफिल सेल्स में जो फोर रोबिस्को होगा म्यूजोफिल सेल्स में इन सी थ्री प्लांट्स सी फोर प्लांट्स में सी थ्री साइकिल होता है बंडल सी सेल्स में वो बंडल सी सेल्स में रोबिस्को होगा म्यूजोफिल सेल्स में रोबिस्को नहीं होगा दैट इज इंपॉर्टेंट टू मैंशन यू दैट 
द प्राइमरी कार्बन डाइक्साइड हैज एन स्लाइड प्रोसेस चाहते हैं सी फोर साइकिल को द फर्स्ट कार्बन डाइक्साइड जो प्राइमरी कार्बन डाइक्साइड एक्सेप्ट है दट इज द थ्री कार्बन कम्पाउंड फॉस्फो इन और पैरिवेट एंड जो प्रोडक्ट बना दट इज ऑक्जल स्टिक ऑक्जल इसके लिए एंजाइम जो लगा वो है पैपकेस फॉस्फो इन और पैरिवेट कार्बोक्स लेस कार्बोक्स कार्बोक्स म्यूजोफिल सेल्स में रिएक्शन हुई म्यूजोफिल सेल्स में रोबिस्ट एंजाम नहीं होता है ऑक्जल स्टिक एसिड जब बना ये कन्वर्ट होता है अदर ऑर्गेनिक एसिड इसमें लाइक एसपाटिक एसिड मेलिक एसिड फ्री एसिड ट्रांसपोर्ट होता है बंडल सेल वहाँ पर इनकी डी कॉबोक्सलेशन होती है सी थ्री एसिड बनता है जो सी थ्री एसिड वापस होता है ट्रांसपोर्ट इन द म्यूजोफिल सेल्स जहाँ पे उस सी थ्री एसिड को वापस कन्वर्ट किया जाता है फॉसो एनर पैरवेट दस कम्पलीटिंग द साइकिल जो कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड रिलीज हो जो इन द डी कॉबोक्सलेशन इन द बंडल सी सेल्स वही होता है एंटर इन द सी थ्री पाथवे वही होता है एंटर इन द सी थ्री पाथवे सी थ्री पाथवे सी थ्री पाथवे And there will be available for carboxylic oxygen in the bundle like that case. The bundle seeds are rich in ribulose, bisphosphate, carboxylic, but like pep case. But like pep case. That's the basic pathway that results in phosphate sugar. The gallon pathway is common to C3 and C4 plants. That biosynthetic pathway they use for the C4 plants for C3 cycle. Here. Did you note that? Gallon pathway occurs in all gallon occurs in all mesophyll cells of C3 plants. In the C4 plants, it does not take place. In the Kalman path, it does not take place in the middle. But all the on the, the bundle cell cell, we are saying that C3 cycle occurs in both C3 and C4 plants. First point, important point. C3 plants mein C3 cycle hota hai mesophyll cells mein. C4 plants mein C3 cycle hota hai bundle seed cells mein. C3 plants mein uh, rubisco hota hai present in mesophyll cells mein. C4 plants mein rubisco hota hai present in bundle seed cells mein. Very important. फोटो रेस्पायरेशन प्रेजेंट होती है सी थ्री प्लांट्स में नॉट सी फोर प्लांट्स फोटो रेस्पायरेशन से प्रोडक्टिविटी कम होती है फोटो रेस्पायरेशन को दूसरा नाम दिया जाता है सी टू साइकिल कार्बोरबिस्को इसको ऑक्सीजनेस एक्टिविटी भी है कार्ब कार्बोक्सिस एक्टिविटी अगर रेशो कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड ऑक्सीजन सेम हो तो वो कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड की तरफ जाएगा अगर अगर किसी वजह से कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड कंसनट्रेशन अब कम है तो वो ऑक्सीजन की तरफ रिएक्ट करता है कौन और बिस्को रिस्को ऑक्सीजन के साथ मिलता है ऑक्सीजन के साथ मिलता है बनाता है सी टू मॉलिकल फॉस्फो फॉस्फो ग्लाइ फॉस्फो ग्लाइसरेट एंड फॉस्फो ग्लाइकोलेट फॉस्फो ग्लाइसरेट एंड फॉस्फो ग्लाइकोलेट इस स्टेप उसमें कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इवाल्व होता है कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इवाल्व होता है ए खर्च होता है कोई बायोमास नहीं बनता इट इज़ अ वेस्टेज प्रोसेस सी फोर इज फोटो रेस्पायरेशन इज अ वेस्टेज प्रोसेस इट ऑकर्स इन ऑनली सी थ्री प्लांट्स में होता है सी थ्री प्लांट्स में होता है सी थ्री प्लांट्स में होता है C4 फोर प्लांट्स में क्या होता है उसमें तो कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एक्स्ट्रा आता है फ्रॉम द मेलिक एसिड सी थ्री प्लांट साइकिल के लिए एक्स्ट्रा कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड आता है उसकी वजह से जो ऑक्सीजनेस एक्टिविटी ऑफ रिबिस्को वो डिक्रीज हो जाती है वो कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड उसमें फोटो रेस्पिरेशन होता ही नहीं है क्योंकि वहाँ पर कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड कंसनट्रेशन बहुत ज़्यादा होती है बाहर से ऑक्सीजन अंदर नहीं जा सकता क्योंकि बंडल सी सेल्स ठीक होती हैं इम्पर्वियस होते हैं तो गैस एक्सिन इंटरसेल स्पेस टोटली एबसेंट होती हैं अंदर से ही कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड की कंसनट्रेशन ज़्यादा हो जाती है उसकी वजह से जो रोबिस्को की कार्बोक्सीजन एक्टिविटी वो बढ़ जाती है एंड वो प्रोडक्टिविटी बढ़ जाती है फोटो रेस्पेरेशन नहीं होती है फोटो रेस्पेरेशन होती है जब ऑक्सीजन कंसनट्रेशन ज़्यादा हो एज कम्पेयर टू कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड कंसनट्रेशन रुबिस्को एक्टिस रुबिस्को की ऑक्सीजनेस एक्टिविटी बढ़ जाती है वो रिएक्ट करता है विद ऑक्सीजन इंस्टेड ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड बनाता है दो मालिक्यूल्स उस वक्त वहाँ पे कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड रिलीज होता है दो मालिक्यूल बनाता है वो तो फॉसो ना तो फॉसो ग्लाइसरेट के दो मालिक्यूल्स और एक मालिक्यूल ऑफ फॉसो ग्लाइसरेट एक मालिक्यूल ऑफ फॉसो ग्लाइसरेट दोनों ही टू कार्बन कंपाउंड्स हैं इस प्रोसेस दैट इज फोटो रेस्पिरेशन ना कोई ना कोई एटीपी बनता है हालांकि एटीपी खर्च होता है कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इवाल्व होता है कोई भी सिंथेसिस नहीं होती इट इज़ अ वेस्टेज प्रोसेस कोई भी फायदा नहीं होता है इस प्रोसेस में Let's try to understand the one more precious that is the creation important difference between C three and C four plants. Photo respiration to understand photo respiration, we will know a little bit more about the first step of carbon pathway. The first carbon dioxide phase is the process. This is the reaction where RDP combines with carbon dioxide and forms two molecules of three phosphor uh, glycerate. Three phosphor glycerate. So Rubisco that is the most abundant enzyme in the whole world. Me sir, sabse zada abundant enzyme hai Rubisco. Most abundant enzyme in the whole world is Rubisco. Rubisco that is the most abundant enzyme in the world is characterized by the fact that it can it it uh, its active site can bind to the both carbon and oxygen has the name can you think of the year rubisco has higher much greater affinity for carbon acid than the carbon acid oxygen is nearly equal imagine what would happen if there were not so this binding is competitive it is related to uh, concentration of oxygen and carbon acid that remains of the two in c3 plant some oxygen does bind to the rubisco and hence the carbon acid fixation is decreased here the rbb instead of being converted to two molecules of three phosphoglycerate acid binds with oxygen to form one molecule of phosphoglycerate and one molecule of phosphoglycolate In this pathway called the photorespiration, the photorespiration pathway there is neither synthesis of sugar nor ATP. Rather, it results in the release of carbon dioxide while the utilize with with the utilization of the ATP. In the photorespiratory pathway, there is no synthesis of ATP or any D
This is because they have mechanism that increases the concentration of the carbon dioxide at the enzyme site. This takes place when the C4 acid from the mucosal is broken down in the blood of C cell is rid of the carbon dioxide. This results in the increasing the intracellular concentration of the carbon dioxide in turn. This ensures that the rubisco function is as a carboxylase, minimizing the oxygenous activity. Rubisco function as a carboxylase, minimizing the oxygenous activity. Minimizing the oxygenous activity. Rubisco function as a carboxylase, minimizing the oxygenous activity. 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 Minimizing the oxygen activity वो C4 plants में photo respiration होती रही है C4 plants की productivity ज़्यादा होती है as compared to C3 plants last topic factors affecting photosynthesis there are several factors inter some are internal some are external जैसे हमने पढ़ा था transpiration के लिए external factors होते हैं internal factors होते हैं इसी तरह photosynthesis के लिए external factors internal factors होते हैं that depend on the rate of photosynthesis an understanding of the factors that affect photosynthesis is necessary. The rate of photosynthesis is very important in determining the yield of plants, including crop plants, including crop plants. Photosynthesis is under the influence of several factors, both internal, many pehle, both as are both internal as well as external. The plant factors include number, size, number, size, age, and orientation of leaves, number, size, age, and orientation of leaves, mesophyll cells, chloroplasts, carbon dioxide concentration, amount and amount of chlorophyll, MCQ, NASO, NASO, MCQ, MCQ, NASO, MCQ are the internal factors. These are the internal factors or we can say they are plant factors. NASO, number, age, size, orientation of leaves, number, age, size, orientation of leaves, M, mesophyll cells, C, chloroplast, internal carbon dioxide concentration, internal carbon dioxide concentration and chlorophyll content, chlorophyll come amount, NASO, MCQ are the internal factors that determine the rate of photosynthesis, number, age, size and orientation of leaves number a size and orientation of leaves cycle is m c cube m for mesophyll cells c for chloroplast internal carbon dioxide concentration and chlorophyll amount chlorophyll amount the plant or the internal factors are dependent on the genetic genetic basis kya hai plant ki gene kya hai genetic basis kya hai genetic heredity kya hai depends on the internal factor depends on genetic predisposition and the growth of the plant and the growth of the plant the external factors would include the availability of the sunlight temperature carbon dioxide the sunlight temperature water external factors mein aate hain vikatas water carbon dioxide temperature sunlight water carbon vikatas external factors mein vikatas aate hain to internal factors mein also mcq aate hain also mcq vikatas aate hain next factor is water carbon dioxide temperature sunlight with uh, water carbon dioxide temperature sunlight and do Several factors interact in simultaneously affect the photosynthesis and carbon dioxide Usually, one factor is a major cause. When several factors affect any biochemical process, black men's law of limiting factors come into effect. If the chemical process is affected by more than one factor, then it is the rate will be determined by the factor which is nearest to its minimal value. It is the factor which directly affects the process, but it's uh, when its quantity is changed, which is the same. The same is the effect of the rate of photosynthesis. It's both the law of black, black men's law of limiting factor. Black men's law of limiting factor. When a process, when a process is affected by more than one factor, then, uh, then, 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 when a process is affected by more than one factor, then the rate will be determined by the factor. Then the rate will be determined by the factor which is nearest to its minimum. जो कम होगा, उसी से होगी rate determined effect होगी. For example, despite the presence of a green leaf and optimal light and carbon dioxide conditions, the plant may not force if the temperature is very low. अगर अगर बाकी concentrations अच्छी हो उनको अगर हम चेंज करें वो अपने ऑप्टिमम लेवल पे हैं लाइक लाइट ऑप्टिमम लाइट लेवल है सनलाइट ऑप्टिमम लाइट लेवल पे है लीफ लीफ में कंटेंट क्लोरोफिल कंटेंट एंड अदर फैक्टर्स अपने ऑप्टिमम लेवल पे हैं लेकिन जो टेम्परेचर है वो लो है और अगर हम टेम्परेचर को ज़्यादा करेंगे फोटोसेंस ज़्यादा होगी टेम्परेचर को कम करेंगे फोटोसेंस कम होगी बाकी अदर फैक्टर्स को हम चेंज करेंगे उसकी वजह से फोटोसेंस पर कोई असर नहीं पड़ेगा क्योंकि यहाँ पर ला ऑफ लिमिटिंग फैक्टर का रोल आता है फॉर एग्जाम्पल लाइट लो लाइट इंटर अगर लाइट की इंटेंसिटी लो हो मतलब इट इज नियर टू इट्स मिनिमम वैल्यू तो अफेक्टिव होगी फोटोसिंथिस की रेट लाइट से लाइट की लाइट uh, की जो अगर हम देखो लाइट तो दो तरह की होते हैं एक तो डिटरमेंट होती है क्वालिटी ऑफ लाइट दूसरी होती है क्वांटिटी ऑफ लाइट एट हायर लाइट इंटेंसिटीज ग्रेजुअली द रेट डज नॉट शो फर्दर इंक्रीज एज अदर फैक्टर बिकम लिमिटिंग एज वॉट इज Light saturation is about ten percent of full sunlight. Light saturates at ten percent of full sunlight. Light saturates at ten percent of sunlight. No, so MCQ. But my God, my vicars and factors genetic predisposition. They depend on the carbon dioxide concentration. Mm, Vicars. Blackman's law of limiting factor. Blackman's law of limiting factor. 
ten percent of the full sunlight light saturation occurs at ten percent of full sunlight hence exit for plants in the shade or dense cotton lars is rarely an emitting factor in nature in the reason instant light beyond the point causes the breakdown of the breakdown of chlorophyll beyond the point will cause the breakdown of the chlorophyll breakdown of chlorophyll and decrease in the photosynthesis breakdown of chlorophyll and decrease in the photosynthesis breakdown of chlorophyll and decrease in photosynthesis breakdown of chlorophyll and decrease in photosynthesis breakdown of chlorophyll and decrease in photosynthesis <coughs> carbon dioxide concentration c3 plus ko carbon dioxide zyada nahi kam hota hai c3 plus ko carbon dioxide zyada kam hota hai c3 plus ko carbon dioxide already zyada hota hai ye yaad rakhna hai pehle c3 plus ko jo carbon dioxide is a major limiting factor for photosynthesis the concentration of carbon dioxide is very low in the atmosphere about 0.03 to 0.04 percent increase in carbon dioxide up to 0.5 percent can cause increase in the carbon dioxide fixation rate beyond this level become damaging over longer periods 0.03 to 0.04 to concentration of the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere up to 0.05 agar hum increase karenge to rate increase ho jayegi rate of photosynthesis rate increase ho jayegi usse zyada agar karenge to photosynthesis the rate decrease ho jayegi beyond The C3 and the C4 plant, the C3 and C4 plant, the C3 and C4 plant respond differently to carbon dioxide concentration at low light conditions. Neither group responds to high carbon dioxide at low light intensities. High carbon dioxide condition at high light intensities. Both C3 and C4 plant show increase in the rates of the photosynthesis. What is important to note that C4 plant show saturation at about 360. उनके पास already होता है carbon dioxide. दो गुना saturation जल्दी दिखाते हैं वो 360, 360. C3 responds to increase the carbon dioxide concentration at 450. Thus, current availability of carbon dioxide levels is limiting for C3 plants. Current availability of the carbon dioxide is limiting for C3 plants. C4 plants दिखाते हैं saturation at 360. C3 plants दिखाते हैं saturation at 450, 360, 450, 360, 450, 360, 450. Micro. दस करंट अवेलेबल ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इज लिमिटिंग टू सी थ्री प्लान लिमिटिंग है सी थ्री प्लान के लिए करंट अवेलेबल ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड सी थ्री प्लान रेस्पॉन्ड टू सी थ्री प्लान रेस्पॉन्ड टू हायर कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड कंसेंट्रेशन बाई शो इन द इंक्रीज द रेट ऑफ द फोटो सिंसिड लीडिंग टू हायर प्रोडक्टिविटी हैज बिन यूज फॉर सम ग्रीन हाउस लाइक टमेटो एंड बेल पेपर ऑफ द सी थ्री प्लान paper they are allowed to grow in carbon dioxide rich atmosphere that leads to higher yields carbon dioxide rich atmosphere that leads that leads higher yields कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एंड एटमोसफियर सी थ्री प्लांट रेस्पॉन्ड टू हायर लाइट इंडस्ट्री को अगर हम फोर सिक्सटी तक भी करेंगे तो प्रोडक्टिविटी इंक्रीज होती रहेगी वहाँ पे सचुरेशन होते हैं ओनली एट थ्री फिफ्टी लेकिन वो थ्री सिक्सटी वहाँ पे फोर फिफ्टी तक क्या कहते हैं गो सी थ्री प्लांट्स को अगर हम कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एंड एटमोसफियर में ग्रो करेंगे तो उनकी प्रोडक्टिविटी बहुत इंक्रीज करेंगे इस टेक्नोलॉजी को यूज़ करें करते हैं फॉर द क्रॉप्स लाइक टमेटोज एंड बेल पेपर टमेटोज एंड बेल पेपर टेम्परेचर द डार्क रिएक्शन बिंग एनजामेटिक डार्क रिएक्शन बिंग एनजामेटिक टू वो सिट डेफिनेटली सी फोर प्लान रेस्पॉन्ड टू हायर टेम्परेचर ट्रॉपिकल सी फोर प्लान ट्रॉपिकल रिजन में वो हायर टेम्परेचर हायर टेम्परेचर ट्रॉपिकल हायर टेम्परेचर टेम्परेचर में रहता है सी फोर प्लान रेस्पॉन्ड टू हायर वाटर इवन दो वाटर इज वन ऑफ द रिएक्टेंट्स इन द लाइट रिएक्शन द इफेक्ट ऑफ वाटर एज ए फैक्टर इज मोर थ्रू इट्स इफेक्ट ऑन द प्लान It's more through its effect on the plant than directly on photosynthesis. Water stress can cause the stomata to close, reducing the carbon dioxide element. Besides, water stress also makes stress act of the leaves and other metabolic activity as well. C4 plant responds to higher temperature because C4 plants are found in tropical regions. Higher temperature, higher temperature. Once it is on lower temperature, higher temperature, lower temperature, higher temperature, lower temperature. C4 plants higher temperature, 30 to 40, 45 degrees Celsius. C4 plants lower, 10 to 25 degrees Celsius. 10 to 20. Five degree. 